Boom, peace intro, guys. My Apache helicopter is firing up over there, so it's going to get a little noisy. But anyway, um, I want to try to get <coughs> the Porsche drawing done. I got, I got them in, and I want to try to get it done, so hopefully I can get this stuff mailed out maybe today to you guys. Now, I realize Mr. Spahar, McNasty, Mr. Cummings, any of you guys win, you won't get it by Christmas it's you're too far away um, but I still have your stuff here just in case and mr. Harrison I still have your stuff here just in case because you kept coming up and you're all over this one you got all kinds of numbers on this one so there's a good chance you're gonna win something but um I want to try to get it done so I can try to get that stuff shipped out and um, but yeah they came in so I got first place, second place, and they're pretty nice. Um, I mainly got them because I wanted one because I like green. I like the wheels on it. It's the Urban Outlaw Magnus Walker. I like that. And it's a pretty good looking car. I mean, the back says Outlaw on the license plate. It's pretty nice. But I was surprised to get four of them because it... The, the, la uh, the first one I put in, you know, I put in my cart, one minute wait time, sweet. My son's first one, one minute wait time. Then we jumped to our other deals. By the time I got through CAPTCHA, I had six minute wait time. He had a four. I didn't expect to give you one of those. I've never in three years now got a car that had a four minute wait time. I've lost them at three minutes. Get, get to it and it says cart is empty. But actually, they were both still there. I'm, there must have been a lot of them. Must have been a lot or something. I don't know, but I got them. Three of them are in. I'm still waiting on one. But anyway, we got them. So first, second, third gets to pick which one of these you want. You know, I, I wish Hot Wheels would stop that. They just put this out in boulevards. And now they want to add it to a two-pack or something. At least change the color or something. Now, I haven't actually pulled my boulevard out and looked to see if the wheels are different, but I don't believe they are. I believe it's exactly the same. But anyway, whatever. So you get to third place, you pick one of those, and fourth place is one of these. Which reminds me, um, Steve, Mini Stangs. Thanks for reaching out about that Moon Eyes Crew Cab Dually. Heck yeah, I'd like to have that. I don't have that. That'd be awesome. And if you don't have this, let me know. I still have, I think, like six of them over there. I'll send you one in the place of that. And uh, if you haven't already ordered you one of these, and um, so let me know. And uh, I'll, I'll send you one of those. And we'll go from, oh, and Mr. Proust, McNasty sent me this, remember? I told you I said I thought I had it. I do. Um, and he said, well, forward it to Mr. Proust. So there you go, buddy. I'm going to send it to you. It's a sweet little tarmac casting. And uh, I got it over there with your stuff. But right now, let's try to wipe this drawing out because I want to try to get this stuff shipped out. Um, I also got a package down here from our buddy Hector. Um, he, he's in the comments a lot. He always says, hashtag King of Customs. A lot of you guys know who he is. Um, some of you may not. But I'd like to try to get to that. But um, anyway, I want to try to wipe this drawing out real quick. Now... Like I said, Mr. Harrison, he's all over this thing, so I won't be surprised if he doesn't pop up somewhere in here again. But uh, anyway, I got 1 to 45 pulled up, and we're going to blaze on. Let's see who's going to get first place. Forty-one. 41, Mr. Spahar. Good thing I didn't send his. Uh... Good thing I didn't send his uh, package off, huh? Oh, Mr. Spahar got him one. Nice, huh? All right. Now let's see who's going to get. There's that purple gasser. Hope I get it for Christmas. Whew. Anyway, um, let's see who's going to get second place. Oh, 
13. <laughs> Both of them out of the country. 13, Mick and Nasty. You know what's funny about that is uh, McNasty, when he bought his um, stickers for this, on his invoice, he put, I'm feeling lucky today, mucker. <laughs> I guess you were lucky. Check it out. I must have gave you some luck, buddy, because you won past two times, I think. Yeah, you just won you an Integra. Yeah, you are. You've been, I think I gave you some luck. So anyway, McNasty got one. First place, second place. Second place is McNasty. Oh, see? And these guys are across the pond. Spahar and McNasty. So, I'm glad I didn't ship their stuff. Because, uh, see what I mean? As sure as I did, it would have been boom all over again. So now, again guys, I apologize to people that haven't, haven't got it. And congratulations to the ones that have. Um, But now let's see who's going to get third place. And it has to be somebody different. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven is Mr. Proust. Twenty-seven. Number twenty-seven. Third place. Proust. Our buddy Mr. Pruce. Yeah, just let me know which one you want. Which one of these you want, buddy. Not sure which one. Let me know and then I'll get her marked and sent to you. <coughs> now, fourth place, General Square Body. Or, yeah, General Square Body. Crew Cab. Has to be somebody different also. 30. 30. Mr. Neil Cummings. You know, I think he wanted one of those. Number 30. Another guy out of the country. Three guys out of the country. Shipping on these things is going to be a chunk. But it doesn't matter because I already had stuff I had to send all three of them anyway. So it all you know it's it's totally perfect um mr cummings and uh i'm pretty sure he wanted that truck i thought i heard a seen a comment somewhere he said something about that truck mr cummings got fourth place dang mr harrison i can't believe i completely missed you on that deal all the numbers you had dang must have used up your luck last time well anyway as this being an oddball and being Christmas time, like I told you guys, third place is picking one of these. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> third place is going to pick one of these. I've never done a fifth place, guys. I, I, I've been getting more and more, ain't I? Well, anyway, it's Christmas time. I may not even hear from you guys between now and Christmas. I don't know if I'll have another video, but we're going to do a fifth place. And you're going to get whichever one of these the other guy, third place, didn't pick. What do you say? What do you say? Okay. Let's see who fifth place is going to be. It has to be somebody entirely different. Forty-three. Mr. Richard Harrison, I'll be darned. Sorry, buddy, you, you missed out on all of them, except for fifth place, which, hey, you may not have that. And you may like it. Um, I don't know which one it'll be. It's gonna be whichever one Mr. Proust does not pick. I don't know which one Mr. Proust will want, but you will get the other one. So, there we go, guys. Congratulations. Apologize to everybody else like I always do. I always, you know, I want everybody to win, but we know that ain't how it works. And um, 
Also, um, I think it was, yeah, I gotta write this on here, sorry guys. Um, but yeah, so first place, Mr. Spayhar, number, number 41, first place. Got him a, por a Porsche. Second place, McNastia, number 13. Got him a Porsche. Third place, Mr. Pruce. They're still asleep. Number 27. I'll be up there in a minute. Third, number 27. Hold on, guys. What's up? You can talk. Grandma forgot to get Kiki's food. Grandma forgot to get what? Kiki's her food. No, she gave it to her. I saw her give it to her earlier. Huh. She already gave it to her. I'll come up there as soon as I'm done with this video. We can see, watch something or something. I don't know. What are you doing now? Your tablet or something? On my tablet. Okay. Um, where was I? That was my granddaughter. One of them, the younger, younger ones up already. Um, how, where was I? Third with Mr. 27 was Mr. Bruce. Fourth is number 30. Yeah, fourth was number 30. Mr. Cummings. And fifth is number 43. Mr. Harrison. All right. So there we go, guys. Um, hopefully... Let me try to go through here real quick. I keep copies of everybody's invoice in case there's a problem I can look at it uh, so anyway congratulations guys apologize to everybody else but first place Mr. Speha second place Mika Nasty Mika Nasty getting a pretty good collection going over there now third place Mr. Pruce whichever one he picks Fourth place, Mr. Cummings. And uh, don't forget, Steve, let me know about that. And then fifth place, Mr. Harrison, whichever one of these Mr. Proust does not pick. And uh, that's that. So just let me know, guys. Um... And we'll go from there. So then, let's see here. What are we at? 13 minutes? I have, oh, look at that. Check this out. I'm hoping I get this for Christmas. Look at that. The Street Fighter 118 scale Camaro Police. It's on sale now. Oh, dude, it's not on sale anymore. Hundred and fifty five bucks now. Well well it was hundred and thirty eight, but still it's expensive, but it is nice, man. Look at that baby. Nice detailed engine. Interior. Sweet. It's got the firearms in the trunk. Shotgun. AR little switch you know the drag switch you got for the battery power i mean she's a beauty and uh i was gonna order one and do it in a sticker drawing but you know by the time that got here it'd be 160 bucks shoot i'd have to do 60 60 stickers and a lot of you guys don't like 118 scale so i figured i why well, you probably wouldn't be interested so i didn't order one um, but i'm hoping i get one for christmas and also that purple gasser. I'm hoping I get that purple gasser for Christmas. And uh, this baby I almost ordered for myself yesterday. Look at that. And I don't know if you guys, I know you guys have probably heard of Live Car Model. They do a lot of resin castings. 
I'm not trying to put anybody down, but I wouldn't buy from them. They they are they're nuts on everything. Every NO64 I bought, they want almost double four. They're outrageous on everything. Here's an example. Look, there's the same truck. I believe it's made by Bradbury Mint. Um, two hundred and sixty bucks. Two hundred and sixty bucks for that truck is what they want. A live car model. Okay. Go to Hobby Express. Same exact truck. 140 bucks. 139 and 159. They want 120 more dollars at live car model. A hundred and a same damn truck. It's it's it, they're they're crazy. But yeah, I almost ordered that yesterday. I was like, man, I love the color too. It is a nice looking tan interior. I'm 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 gonna it's already in my cart, as a matter of fact. I'm almost sure. Yeah, it's in my cart. <laughs> See, I just haven't hit the button on it. And I'm pretty sure nobody's going to get me that for Christmas because they don't know about it. But, um, dang, man, they know about the purple gasser I want, which that thing's $210 plus shipping. I don't know if I'll get it or not. My youngest daughter might get it for me. She, she does that kind of stuff. Um, my wife probably would have. But I sent her the picture of that Street Fighter Camaro, so I'm hoping she got me that. And um, because a lot of times I buy myself this kind of stuff at Christmas, but I've been waiting now because there's a couple times I did that and then they did. And I was like, uh, I open it at Christmas and I'm like, oh, that's cool. And little do they know I already bought that for myself. So I quit doing that. I wait till after Christmas. But I don't think they know about that. But yeah, 139 bucks. And what's cool about that one is um, it's really detailed. A lot of times these trucks won't have um, like, whoops, like uh, the bed done up or something. And, okay, see there? Look at there. The bed is done up. Wood grain, chrome slats, everything. The hinges. I mean, I'm, I'm probably going to order this truck, guys. I'm probably going to order it. I can't, I can't help it. I love the color. I love the looks of it. The whole thing is just awesome. And uh, I better do it because yeah, look at it. It is just cool looking. Rat think. And I better do it quickly because I don't know how many they got left. And somebody might see this good deal. It's made by Acme. Um, somebody may see this good deal. 140 bucks. Now, I don't know what shipping is. I haven't actually done that. 1,500 pieces. Um, let me see. Let me see if this is one of them places that's going to hammer me on shipping. $13. Not bad at all. Ship. $13 standard standard shipping. $152.99. shipping. Guys, I want to hit that button so bad. I don't think I'll get that cheaper, man. I don't think I'll get that cheaper. I probably shouldn't have went back and showed that to you guys right now. <laughs> I can't help it. This happens to me all the time, guys. 
I love certain cats. Look at that. Thank you. Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you. Whew. Probably won't be till after Christmas, but I probably should. I don't know. I don't think my, I don't think my kids would have found that truck and got it. I'll hide it when it comes in just in case. Um, ah, man. Golly. I know I probably shouldn't have done that, but can't help it, guys. I love that truck. I'll just, you know, I work my, I'll just have to work my butt some more. Well, actually, I know how I pay for that already. Um, let me tell you. Let me tell you how I pay for that. I had to go, it's the same thing happened with my ingrown toenail a few years ago. I had this big, well, you guys might notice it's gone. You might have seen it before. I had this big bang, like a mole or something on the side of my neck there. And I go to get it checked, make sure it's not cancer or anything. No, it's not cancer. It's, I don't want to say it was a skin tag. It was, they called it something else. But anyway, they're like, oh, we laser it off. And it's like $350. I'm like, no, dude, What? You know, I'm like, no, I don't, that's okay. It's not scan, It's not cancer. I'm not going to worry about it. And, the, and she's like, yeah, you know, you don't have to worry about it. It ain't, it's harmless. I was like, all right. <clears throat> Went home and I hate it. It's bugging me. It's annoying me. It catches my collar. It looks like a, you know, a thumb on the side of your neck. Well, a few years ago, I had a bad ingrown toenail for like almost a year. Just killing me. I couldn't get it out. And uh, it was swollen up, just killing me. And when I went, they wanted three hundred fifty dollars to cut it out, and well, I, sh I got good insurance, but I got a five hundred dollar deductible. And a lot of times, if you haven't been there, you got to meet. At some of these places, you have to meet your deductible first. A lot of times, my insurance will just run stuff through, but some places won't. If I haven't met my deductible, they want me to pay them the whole bill. Well, it was one of those deals. But the thing was, he wouldn't do anything on it because it was so red and abscess. He wanted me to take medicine for a few days, uh, some kind of antibiotic or something. And so I was like, all right. So that was a $49 visit bill while I went and done the antibiotics. Well, I took the antibiotics for like a week and it's still sore and bad shape. And I'm supposed to go back to do the, the surgery. Well, I looked at some videos and I seen doctors cutting ingrown toenails out and they got these, these snips that kind of curve and they're for ingrown toenails and they dig, they, they numb it and numb the guy's toe. And then they shove that thing way down in there and they cut it and they pull it out. And so I watched several videos of them and they all done the same thing. And so I was like, man, I'm not giving that dude 350 bucks. And, and every day I had to go to work and cram my foot into that steel toed boot. And it just kills you. But by the time you get off work, it's numb. You can't hardly even feel it anymore. It's because it's just been hammered all day. So I come home that day. I got in a shower. I took a shower. Then I jumped in the a hot tub and soaked my foot in the hot tub for a little while and then I took those damn cutters I just went and bought and I slowly crammed it down in there just pushing it ah oh, it hurts stop push a little more ah oh, stop push it until I got it just crammed all the way in there and I snipped and then I pulled that thing oh my god it hurt <laughs> but i couldn't stop once you started coming and I, and I pulled it from the back forward like they do not not front to back from the back forward and sure enough i got it out and you could see that little hook that had been down in my toe for all that time just tearing stuff up and i got it out and uh i was so relieved and of course it was numb for a couple more weeks or sore for a couple more weeks but it went away Hasn't came back since. Saved myself 350 bucks right there. See, there, sure, I didn't get nothing to numb it, but so what? I, I, not spending 350 bucks was a good numbing agent. All right, so then, same thing with this. I just came home and I took those same cutters. And um, now, guys, YouTube especially, I'm not telling anybody out there to do what I did, okay? I know, I know. Infections and everything else. And, um, but I took those cutters, cleaned them in alcohol and all, and I stuck it up there, trying to do the best I could in the mirror. Got a hold of it. And just, and yeah, it, it hurts, but just, I go slow. Slowly, slowly. And, and you'll notice pain disappears. It hurts for a second, then it, then it gets used to it. Squeeze a little more, hurts, gets used to it. 
squeeze a little more and it finally gets to a point where I think it's pinched off the nerves or something because you don't feel it no more. Then I go ahead and close the gap. <sighs> Pop it right off. Oh yeah, it left a big hole and bled like hell. And I grab a iodine, I dab iodine all over it, just like a doctor or whatever gonna do. And I put a band-aid on it. I left it there for a couple days and now it's it start it'll go away in a few more days. If there's anything left, I'll dig it out too. And uh but anyway, just saved money right there doing that myself. People are like, what about infection? What about it? I'll pour peroxide on it. I'll I'll do something, you know. It, it it's not as bad as they make it sound. You don't have to go to the doctor for everything. Um anyway, I'm not telling you guys to do it. Just saying this is what I did. So you'll notice that big thing's gone I used to have there. And it would get it hit my it just it was annoying. I don't even know where it came from. But um anyway, and, and we all I don't know if you guys ever get small skin tags. A lot of mine disappeared now that I I basically eat a lot of carnivore. I don't eat a lot of carbs anymore. And I heard that that causes a lot of skin tags. But when I used to get them on my arms or whatever, I'd done the same thing. I'd cut them off. But I used fingernail clippers. And uh, it worked the same thing. I'd slide it up on the thing and cut it off. <laughs> then it put a Band-Aid or something on it, some iodine, and it goes away. It disappears and never even know it's there. Well, I think this was, she said it was something else. It wasn't a skin tag. It was something else. But anyway, that's what I did. So anyway, I, I just saved that money on that. Why not buy myself a beautiful truck? I mean, I think I earned it. I mean, don't, can you can you guys go get what I'm saying there? Did I not earn that? If nothing else, just by taking the pay. And actually... This was, what did I say, 152 They just charged me 152 something Is that what it was? Hobby Express. 152 99 for my order. I saved, I still $200 a head. How much was that Street Fighter? <laughs> I better wait. See, I got to wait because they, I, I, I sent that picture to my wife. I might get it for Christmas. The purple gasser I sent to my youngest daughter and she might get it for me. my oldest daughter she probably won't my oldest daughter's got you know she's got a couple kids she's got a, a house she's got a lot of bills to pay she don't really have that kind of money to be spending on an adult like me and she buys which you know my youngest daughter buys a lot of gifts for everybody else in the family too but she still lives with me she's back here with me now when she left her other place and um, uh, so she has a little more extra money. She's in a room up there. But my other daughter, she has all these bills to pay. I wouldn't expect her to be able to do that anyway. So I didn't even send her the picture. <laughs> but anyway, I don't want to buy them and then they get them for me. I've done that before and it's, it's not good. But anyway, see, I just went and bought that darn truck just like that. That's what happens to me when I get on there. I almost did it last night, but I didn't. Oh, well, guys, when it comes in, we'll take a look at it. And like I said, I didn't get, um, I didn't get any of those for sticker drawings because a lot of you guys don't like 118 scale. I, I understand they take up a lot of space, but God, they are so much nicer guys. And I, and I, and that's why I'm picky on which ones I got get because they do take up too much space. They take up way too much space. So I got cases upstairs on my walls in certain areas where I got them. And, um, and then that's why I said I'm just real picky on which ones I get because they do take up a lot of space. But that Street Fighter Camaro, if I do get it, it is nice. And like I said, if, I, if any of them's in stock still and you guys want me to get one for the sticker drawing, I can. But something that costs that much, I probably have to put 60, 60 stickers in it to cover it all, especially with shipping and everything. So, um, but but I didn't. But if you if you want me to get one of those, say so in the comments. And enough of you say so, I'll get one. But uh. Um, but I didn't gamble on getting another one just to do that. So anyway, now that I'm past all that, yeah, that's how I justify sometimes buying that stuff. It's like I said, I saved 350 on that toe. I just saved 350 there. I mean, I don't call it stupid. I'm not telling you guys to cut on yourselves, but I grew up that way, man. My mom, my, my parents were old school anyway. I got Mexicans busting my head open with a bottle 
yeah, I grew up with low riders and stuff, always fighting with the gringo. And uh, busted me open with a bottle one time. A bunch of them jumped me. I mean, I'd done pretty good, good enough to get up and run away, I, you know, get my licks in and took off running. And uh, I all bleeding and everything. But anyway, I got home. Mom's like, well, sit down, shaves my eyebrow, gets a piece of tape. I mean, you can still probably see the long line. And she just pulls it shut, puts some tape on it. She says, well, if that don't work, we're going to sew it up. And so I was like, Psh, I'm doing my best to like not get it sewed up because they busted me open with a brick in the back of my head one time. And this is all young kid, man. It is rough out there when you're young. This was all prior to 15. I mean, this one was 13. The one in the back of my head was 14 with a brick. And, and it's always that way, guys. I don't know if it still was, but anytime I got in a fight with a bunch of low riders, it, was, it, it may start out with one, but they all jump on you. I mean, it, two or three of them do anyway. It, it's just what it is. I don't know why. It's just what they do. So it isn't like you can win. But anyway, I get home, same thing, except that one she sewed and uh, shaved it because it was pretty big. And uh think I was gave numbing agents? No. Um, it's, we were different when we were kids, guys. And I'm saying this because I know a lot of you guys are my age, so you may have grew up the same way. <laughs> you know, parents or uncles are like, like you get a sprained ankle or something, uh, that's not working in my house when I was a kid. You know what they're going to do? Walk. Get up and walk. They're going to make sure it's not broken, and then they're going to say walk. And they're going to make you walk. <laughs> You're not going to, oh, no, my love, no, there you go, walk. And, I mean, even some of them, they'll try to set your finger. I mean, it was different when we were kids, guys. So that's probably why I'm used to just trying to fix the stuff myself. Um, but anyway, let's get past that. Um, congratulations to everybody on those. I'll try to get your packages off. Mr. Cruz, let me know which one you want. That'll tell me which one to send Mr. Harrison. So actually, both of those are going to be held up. Uh, Mr. Spahar, I, I got your... Uh, uh, there's three things over there for you now. So that's enough, I mean, to send out a package. And McNasty, you should have three or four things. So I could get your package going. And then we'll go. Okay, so now we got the package from Hector. And also, I grabbed some of those new Matchbox completely stupid this is why did they do this i don't know this is stupid but i grabbed the bronco pretty cool and a jeep i didn't grab them all because i don't like them all but the jeep a jeep's pretty cool and um i got an extra one of those uh or, i'm sorry land cruiser it's a toyota land cruiser i, I don't know why i kept calling it a jeep but i got an extra one of those because it was just too cool and then I got the uh, Charger. Yellow Dodge Charger SRT Hellcat. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. But anyway, um, I got those yesterday. I didn't get the others. I, there's some of them. I just didn't like them. But, um, but anyway, that is dumb. This, this is not going to last. There's so many things about this I don't like. This is exposed. It's wide open. That's, that's going to damage these cars. Second thing is, I can't see the whole car. All I see is a picture at the back of it. And, and the third thing is, I don't care what they say. That is scratching the paint. I don't care what they say. It's scratching the paint. I bet any of you, every car you take out has scratching on the paint from that. So, so I thought to myself, well, on their, on their end, they're probably like, well, we intend for you to take them out of there. Okay. So that's why they left it open and everything else and blah, blah, blah. Okay. Even if I take them out, this one being red, especially, I guarantee, I bet you, I take that out of there and there are scratches on the paint. So it's, it's nothing, it's a done deal. It's not, I don't like it. And I bet it don't last long. And I don't care. Oh, well, it's going green. I don't care if it's going green. It, it, who cares? I'm sick of your going green crap. Going green is a gimmick. 
It's like electric vehicles. It's never going to work, guys. Anybody, any of you guys think you're doing good with an electric video or electric vehicle? Do some research for yourself. And when I say do some research, that doesn't mean watch CNN or listen to your government. Go track down where this cobalt comes from. Track down where all that stuff comes from. Track down what they're doing to the earth to make that battery that runs that car. Track down what they do with that battery when it's no longer any good. Absolutely nothing because they don't know what they can do with it. They're, they're, that is the biggest crock of crap happening on the planet now. And they already know it. The rich people, the politicians, all of them know it. But it's big money for them right now. They don't care if they come back in five or ten years and say, well, you know, it didn't really work. Sorry about that. But hey, we got billions. We got millions. It's the same thing they do with everything. That's all that is. It's never going to work. You can't charge it. People are buying these electric vehicles now. And what are they doing? Complaining that they can't make it from Iowa to Texas. Can't. And then, and how many charging stations do you see that are ran by a generator running off a of diesel? They need to just stop. Just leave it alone. Quit screwing the public. But as long as there's plenty of stupid people out there, they're going to keep screwing us because of stupid people that believe that crap. It's nonsense. You know what, China? China come over here a few weeks ago to California to talk to them about global warming and human rights? Are you kidding me? China? The biggest polluters in the world? Have you Look up how much they pollute. Look up the CO2 levels they put out into the environment. All right? Look at how they treat their people. Are you telling me they came here to talk to us about human rights and global warming? Does that... What? Well, you think they came here to take some, some suggestions from us? No. They came here to give our government some suggestions to put on us. Ugh. Unbelievable. Anyway, this green stuff needs to stop. It's crap. It's nonsense. They, they, they waste so much money and everything, and they tell you and me, we need to watch our carbon footprint as they just blow and go. Because every one of them, you saw Kamala Harris with her gas stove, the gas stove that they claim they weren't trying to take from us, but they are. They got one. They, they put everything they say, they do. It's all crap. It's not true. And it's so annoying to see how many stupid ass Americans fall for the crap they feed you. I'm just disgusted with half these people these days. It's like, man. Anyway, so so that's not a good enough reason for to me, Matchbox, for you to do this. You need to fix this crap because it's ridiculous. And to be honest, I never did like the other one either that's completely enclosed. <laughs> that's cardboard because you had to open it and take the car out. And again, to people that are opening the car and taking it out, probably doesn't matter to them at all. But anybody that's a carded collector, this sucks. This is visible. The rest of the car is not visible. This is not protected. It just sucks. So, anyway, there's that. And um, now this is a big box from Hector. Um, I'll try to get to comments next time, I guess, because this... Well, you know what? I better save this. This is a big box. I don't know what all Hector's got in there, guys. Um, I don't want to... I don't want to... It may take some time to go through his box. It's a big box, guys. And I'll probably do a separate video on that. I mean, it's got a lot of stuff in it. I can feel it. So, anyway, sorry about the rants, guys. But any of you guys with half a brain no, EV vehicles are never going to work. Sure, they're cool. There's some cool things about them. You see how fast some of them are? But they're not practical. They're never going to be practical. Never. You can't even keep, people in California can't even run their air conditioning all summer. And you think you're going to be able to charge vehicles? Well, that's another thing, too. The government doesn't intend for you and me to have our own vehicle, especially by 2030. They don't intend for all of us 330 million people to have our own vehicle. So if you think about it like that, if you think about it where they could take away, like, what, North Korea, where is it? They don't even let them drive vehicles. If they could take away all of our vehicles and make us take public transit everywhere we went, they may be able to get by with electric vehicles. You know why? Because they're going to be the only damn people that have them. But, like I said, don't ever trust any damn thing the government says they're doing for you. They're not doing it for you. What did they just say about Zelensky again? 
That makes me sick how many times that guy comes to America. Yeah, you know why he comes here? He comes here to remind Joe Biden, the big guy, hey, you better stick to the agreement. You better stick to the deal or I'm going to rat you out. Where's my money? And then what do we do? Send him more money. What does the speaker say? Or the, the, the lady, the black chick? Oh, well, you know, he came here and he made a pretty passionate speech about why they need the money. Really? Really? Can I come there and make a passionate speech about why all of us fellow Americans need the money and you could give us hundreds of millions of dollars of our own money back to us? Can I do that? No. They're full of crap. I'm, I am so sick of them giving all that money to Ukraine and Ukraine ain't winning shit, guys. Think about that. I know I'm ranting, but I don't care. This is the truth. Do you really believe Ukraine is beating Russia. If you do, I'm telling you to your face, you're an idiot. You're dumber than dog shit. Because we would have a hard time messing with Russia. You think Ukraine is beating Russia? Don't be stupid. Don't listen to what the government's telling you. That's a lie. Why else would Zelensky, why else would they be wanting men over 40 to now join their military? Because they about used up everybody else. I mean, that is so stupid for you to even think that Ukraine has any chance against Russia. Somebody the United States would have a hard time with. But that's how dumb they've made so many people here in America. Uh. And I try to avoid it, but I can't believe how many, you know, how many things pop up on YouTube about it or the news or everything, and I'm just sick of it. That guy, and what, 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 how many yachts has, has Zelensky bought now? How many super yachts? You're in a war over there and you're out buying super yachts? You know, I got a war, we're fighting to save my country, but hey, I need me a badass yacht so I can get out on the ocean. What we got? What kind? Of, are you kidding me? See, that's what our government does. They are full of crap, man. And look at all the crap we have on this administration. Nothing is done about it. But Trump jaywalks. We're going to take him to court. We're going to do everything we can. And the only reason is because, like it or not, Trump is the only person that wants to stick up for America and Americans. God, I wish there was somebody else that wanted to stick up for America and Americans. But it's him. He's the only one that wants to say, screw your Paris climate agreement. Screw you, China. Screw you. Screw you. That's what we need to say. Look at us. We're... Let's go on to some comments real quick. I'm going to get off on something I ain't going to be able to stop because I am so disgusted with them damn people. I'm telling you right now, boy. I, sometimes I just got to bury myself in other things because I can't, I can't stand it, man. It's You clearly see what's going on and other people are just stupid as shit. Just, uh. Anyway. I'm on the Honda Integra comments. Let's try to blaze through some real quick and get back to happiness here. Congratulations to you winners. Um, and apologize to the ones that didn't. I know a lot of you understand exactly what I just said about every bit of the shit in my rant because you, you're you've been around enough to know. Anyway, Hector, right off the bat. Yeah, buddy, I'm going to get to yours. I'm going to save that for another video. <laughs> hashtag King of Customs. Hashtag Mr. Boom. Blessings, amigo. Same to you, brother. I hope all you guys have a Merry Christmas. Because it's... I may not have to talk to you between now and then. I'm not sure. Um, but anyway. Thumbs up, heart. Froggy Geezer. Congrats to the winners. Good to see you're feeling better, James. I am getting there. Looking forward to seeing the next batch of customs. Yeah, I've been... I've been... It's weird, man. I got to get back in here. I'm almost a week away from doing it, and I'm already kind of antsy. I'm already worried that I'm gonna mess stuff up. I went to get me some new fine brushes because my other ones were getting a little. I use real fine little brushes, and so uh, yeah, I better pick some up. So yeah, I'm kind of anxious to get back to it. Mike Dyson, awesome show. I enjoyed every minute of it. Congratulations to all the winners. Glad to know you're feeling better. Looking forward to see those customs roll off the Hewitt's lines. Right on, brother. Strictly die cast. Congratulations to all the winners. I will say Mr. Harrison should definitely go play the lotto. Glad to hear you're doing better, though, brother. And looking forward to seeing more badass customs. Right on, buddy. 
<clears throat> which reminds me the diecast misfits they just did their build i didn't do it um for december and um jake old man diecast i'm sure there's others um but if you guys want to go check them out i'm going to try to check them out as the weekend goes on i haven't got to them yet but uh, i definitely want to check them out but yeah i haven't been able to do it as you know i got tons of other cars i still got to do simple man mustang diecast congratulations to all the winners glad to hear that you're feeling better good buddy same that to you brother appreciate it and mr jefferson jeffries there it is jefferson jeffries it's great the community showing love for mr Proust. well deserved yeah most definitely most definitely yeah um, if you like that, if you like that, baby, let me know. It's a, a Toyota Land Rover, Land Cruiser. I'll send you one of those, you know, because I'm, I'm going to send you a couple of these things. Um, since I'm sending you those steering wheels, I, I was putting them in an envelope, and I was like, you know what? I'm not trusting this. I'm afraid it'll get smashed, so I thought I might as well send you a small package of something. I grabbed those cars I, I said in the other video. I don't know if you've seen it, but I wanted to send them to you. So I thought, you know what? I'm going to send it all at the same time. So I'll, I'll throw one of those in there if you like that. Um, Ford Fan Diecast. Congratulations to all the winners. Always fire ticket drawings. Actually forgot about Bronco. No hurry, my friend. Thanks again. Continue getting better. Yeah, I still got it there, buddy. Um, Fern C. Congrats to the winners. James, you're sounding better. Hope to see some of your customs soon on those 10 days off from work good video right on brother yeah same here i i plan on getting to it um like i said i'm a little worried about all this little pain i got to do now because god now that stuff is so tedious trying not to mess it up diecast clown wow mr president congratulations to all the winners macgyver was the name that our old friend gave to mike dyson i don't know who our old friend was not surprised one bit that you had the same nickname at a former place of employment. You rock. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Yeah, that's what they called me. I would fix stuff with all kinds of different things. But anyway, um, yeah, our old friend. I don't know. Our old schemer, maybe? A scam artist? I don't know. I don't know who you're talking about. Bosco, the bearded welder. Dude still hasn't got his package. I checked tracking, and I told you I was to pay for five days or something like that, ten days. Nah, still it's still stuck in customs in Finland. God, I'm so... I'm glad I didn't pick the 21 days. It would be February. But last I checked, he still hasn't got his package. Whoa, congrats to the winners. Definitely Mr. Harrison needs that Guns N' Roses car. Yeah, that's for sure. The package is on its way. Got some serious traffic with packages and all this time of year. Nice to see you getting better. Cheers. Yeah, you know, it is Christmas time. I'm not sure. Maybe Finland is, I don't know. Hopefully he gets it though. Mr. Spahar got his and I sent it after I sent that, I think. Maybe I sent it at the same time. Mr. Proust, congratulations, Mick Nasty, Mr. Harrison, Mr. Spahar, and Mr. Young. Amazing prizes. You sound much better. Just got to take care of that cough now. Yeah, that thing's finally clearing up. Awesome show as always. Good luck, everybody, on the next drawing. Take care. Right on, buddy. Appreciate it. I think you got, yeah, you got something. Oh, yeah. You got to pick which one of those third place you want. Richard Harrison. Congratulations to all the other winners. Unless I win cars like that off your sticker drawing, I don't have a chance to get cars that nice at all. I just wanted to say that you have the best, funniest, and most generous comments section on all of YouTube. You couldn't imagine how much fun my grandson and I have collecting diecast. So thank you, and good luck to everyone on the next sticker drawing. Right on, brother. Appreciate that. I'm sure everybody else does, too. Yeah, I like everybody in my comment section. Everybody's nice, polite, cool about stuff, and I don't delete comments, so if somebody does talk trash... I'll just leave it there and everybody else can say something to them. I mean, but nobody acts that way. There's nothing to really say. And, um, and yeah, I'm glad you're able to get some cool cars in here. Uh, like I said, you're going to get whichever one of these Mr. Proust does not want. So that's another one going in your, your uh, package. So 
yeah, I appreciate the support too. Um, you know, I, everybody, I, like I said, I, 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 there's another reason I read the comments is I usually was just, re, you know, I, I try to answer everybody, but sometimes there's so many cool comments that I think other people would like to hear them. So that's why I started reading them. So you can all kind of get to know each other, basically, I guess. Yeah, a lot of you guys already know each other from YouTube. But anyway, yeah, pretty cool. Um, Neil Cummings, congrats to all the winners. Great giveaway. Mr. Pruce is truly a legend. Unreal what he finds. Glad you're feeling better. Yeah, most definitely, brother. Um, he definitely is, yeah. And I, I can't believe all the stuff he finds either. Honest Diecast, congrats to the winners. Bummed I didn't win, but at least they're going to good hands. Unfortunately, that is one piece I might have to bite the bullet and pay secondhand market price for. Yeah, sorry you didn't win, buddy. Um, I think you had a couple, yeah, you had a couple stickers on there. Yeah, usually, you know, I mean, you just never know, man. Um, sometimes, you know, you could have, I mean, Mr. Harrison was all over that board this time, and he didn't, he didn't score the first four spots. Um, you just never know. Jake, Strictly Diecast, I think he only had, my Gaslands build, I think I had 50 stickers on that thing. I think he bought one, and it just happened to land on him. So you just never know, man. Um, but obviously, as anybody knows, the more stickers you buy, the better chance you do have. But, um, you know, it's all good. Sorry, you know, thanks for, thanks for trying. Um, and yeah, that Integra's pretty nice. I don't know what it's going for secondhand. I don't, I don't really buy that stuff secondhand. I don't, I just, I don't know. I don't know. Congratulations. This is old school cool die gas. Congratulations to all the win. I think Hewitt's deserves a round of applause. <laughs> Thanks, buddy, for his kindness to the community, especially the ones like me that has won from comment sections. We appreciate you, brother, and for the entertainment, it's appreciated. Uh, you bet. Yeah, I don't. Um, I appreciate you guys. Uh, like I said, we're just, I'm just putting it all back. Like I said, it's all, all this stuff is because you guys buy, buy, buy stickers, so I can buy stuff and put it back out there. I mean, this last one, it pretty much by shipping and everything, it's going to go past whatever was spent on stickers. I think it brought in 180 on stickers. There's, there's 65, 75, 85, 95, 105, 120, 120 plus the shipping out of the country. You can bet that's going way past $200 to ship those things out to everybody. So, um, but again, that that all helps because of all of us participating in it. You know what I mean? So, and like I said before, I'm not a liar. There's times that I might get my car for free, you know? Sorry, um, you know, but like this one, I got a lot of stuff I got to ship out of the country. Uh, it's, it, you might call that a lose money deal. Not really, because it, oh, it breaks even over time. It, it, it usually comes out to about an even deal, which because of Biden, I know I'm going to go past an hour because of Biden now. We're not going to tax you unless you make over $250,000. Anybody says different is a damn liar. What do you do? You make $600 this year on PayPal, you're getting taxed. Yeah, I'm getting hammered this year on my PayPal. And I don't have all my receipts for my write-offs. I do have a bunch of them, but I don't have them all. Next year, I'm going to have to keep every one of them because in their eyes, I made all these thousands of dollars. I did not. I didn't make all this money. They don't take into all the money I have to spend to buy this stuff. They don't care. But what kind of crap is that? See, that's the two-faced liar that a lot of people think is so great in our office right now, in our administration, running this damn country. 600 bucks. You're worried about somebody making 600 damn dollars, you piece of sh Ooh, boy. I tell you, mm. you know, there was a time people like that and then our whole country, our whole government would have been drug out in the middle of the street, tarred and feathered. I mean, it's, they are so damn crooked, it's unreal. And it's both sides. I mean, in, 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 in politics, it's both sides of them. Sure, you got 
some that are cool, you know. Uh. Rico Bobby. Killer giveaways. Awesome winners. Good times had by all. Right on, brother. Mr. Garcia, congrats to all the winners. You have a blessed weekend. Awesome video, James. Thanks, you too, brother. And we got David Beeson. That Integra is sweet. Congrats to the winners. You are absolutely correct. Mr. Harrison, better play the lottery. Yeah, it was definitely his time to shine. I hope you enjoy your 10 days off during Christmas. It is crazy that it's like two weeks away. A nice short one. LOL. Yeah, it it's creeping up on us. Grandpa Larry. Hadn't seen Grandpa Larry in a long time. Congrats to all the winners. I'm still out here. Had some hard times in September. Oh, I hope you're all good, buddy. I hope everything's all right. There's, you know, we're getting to that age. I mean, David LaPlante, die, uh, die cast, liver die cast, li die cast life and death, something like that. Haven't heard from him, can't get a hold of him, and I know he would answer my emails if he could because I got some of his cars I have to fix. I can't get any response. I'm kind of worried something happened to him. Um, you know, we lost Bog and several others. Bog was a shock. I, Bog, Red Room Diecast, super cool guy. I've been bonded from him from the beginning and just, that was a shock, just out of the blue. I mean, anyway, I hope you're okay there. I hope you're getting better. Hard times in September, but watch all your videos. Just don't comment too often. Glad to hear you're on the mend. Happy holidays to you and all your family. Yeah, old Grandpa Larry, he's the one who sent me that gasser-style Batmobile with the uh, Santa Claus in it. That's what gave me the idea to make a gasser out of a Batmobile, and I believe I sent that to Curbs. I think I sent it to the Curbster, old Curbs Garage. And uh, so that's where I got that idea. I thought it was a, just an awesome idea when I, when I seen that. So yeah, I copied him. Um, Pontiac Crest, congratulations to all the winners. The cop car treasure hunt is a 47 Chevy fleet line. Yep, that's what it is. Yeah, I want to find that one. Sure do. And um, uh, you know, I don't know. I guess I had been finding a couple of the AKs 2024 and didn't realize it. But uh, yeah, I'll, I'll look again. Maybe I'll find it. Maybe I won't. It's no big deal. Um, Mr. Rudolph, Rudy Herrera, right on. Glad to hear you're getting back to your customs. Miss viewing your customs on the channel. Thanks, buddy. <coughs> Mr. Herrera tells me he pretty, like, pretty much only collects my customs. <laughs> so I need to get busy and get back to getting this stuff done. And that's another thing. Once, once I get going at it again, it's hard for me to stop. I get... I'll get up four in the morning and be down here till nine at night. And then it, it gets hard on your mind because it's basically fabricating because I, I make so many different things out of them that, it, that I'm constantly doing. And it's okay. But then I go to work and I have to do the same thing in a different scale. It just gets hard to switch back and forth. And um, it's hard to explain. It's like... Um, you got to do something. You're like, man, I don't want to go do it. But once you go do it, you get go. You know, the hardest part is starting to go do it. And then once you get going, you're you're like rolling with it. Well, it finally catches up to you, and you just get brain exhaustion. I mean, it's my job is numbers all day, numbers, dimensions, angles, times pi, times. I mean, it's just all day long, different. And then you finish that job, well, good. Go grab another one to start all over again. And then, and it's just, it's nonstop. So it gets kind of, it finally just catches up to you. But anyway, yeah, once I get, I got to get going again. Too many people are waiting for cars. Um, so anyway, appreciate your support there, Mr. Herrera. And yeah, he says he only collects my cars now, my customs. <laughs> I don't know, but that's what he says. Bunker Diecast, Eddie G. Once again, congrats to all the winners. Everyone have a great week. Yeah, well, Eddie G. Seen him on a podcast with Twice Diecast. I don't usually watch many of those. Um, 
has you know somebody grabs my attention i check it out but uh yeah eddie g super cool guy i know he's you know a lot of people probably don't know who he is or all but just very positive nice guy not like me he doesn't go off on rants and say things he tries to keep it all clean i know a lot of guys have left my channels because of that but i can't change that i'm who i am you know i'm gonna speak about what i want to speak about i'm not going to pretend to be something i'm not and not in any way am i saying eddie g is pretending to be something you know? eddie g is just he's just that kind of nice guy just likes to stay on a cool little harmonica playing platform and uh just a nice guy and um so anyway, that was a pretty cool little podcast, and um, I seen on there uh, while watching it that he only had one Cato house. What, Eddie? And he notices how nice they are. They are very nice compared to some of the other stuff. And uh, I was like, "That's crazy, man! Only one. Gonna have gonna have to do something about that. People gonna have to help old Eddie G out with some Cato house." So anyway. Um, now we got McNasty. Hey, brother. Would you look at old McNasty winning? Yeah, you sure did. You just won again this week. Thanks so much for organizing all this. It's amazing. That's some crazy stuff, Mr. Harrison, coming up repeatedly. Yeah, most definitely was. But yeah, McNasty just got another one this week. Isn't that... I, I'll tell you what, I think I gave you some good luck, buddy. Anyway, um, Jersey Devil. Mr. Keebler. Congratulations to all the winner. Missed by one number again on the Integra. Dang, really wanted that sucker. Yeah, sorry, buddy. I didn't even... I think you were on this one. Pretty sure you were, but I didn't check to see where you missed. I hope it wasn't one number again. <laughs> Dang. And uh, poor Mondo. Mondo's been missing, too, a lot. Which I think... Mondo, didn't you ask me for about that uh, muscle machine cop car? That small cop car. Because I stuck it to the side for somebody, and I thought it was you, but I'm not sure. You said you knew a cop or something. I don't know. If it was you, let me know. Because I got it sitting there, and I don't remember who it was that asked me about it. Um, it was it was one that uh, Mr. Steve Young, Mini, Mini Stang, sent me, and I already have it. Um, And, I, and you, we all know he don't care if you pass stuff on. But, um thought it was you. I'm not sure, but let me know, Mondo. Anyway, Osvaldo. Need for diecast for Julio. The thing, the thing is, I forgot I asked for the Porsche. But nonetheless, it's really nice to get what other people will ask an arm for a limb and some cash. Yeah, I know what you mean. I appreciate it. This Porsche is staying in display. I already freed the Integra. It is gorgeous. Yeah, right on. Yeah, I sent him one of the yellow Porsche. I could have swore he was the one that asked for one. And um, I would guess he probably forgot. But anyway, um, he sent me a picture. Yeah, he opened his RLC Integra, which a lot of you guys open your stuff. Um, and got it out and got it displayed. And uh, yeah, I appreciate it. And um, I think they're still asleep. Pretty sure. Don't wake them up if they are. I hope you ain't up there eating sour cream and onion Pringles for breakfast. All right. I hope you ain't up there eating pepperonis either. Yeah, I'm packing on mint. Okay. Now you're giving me the best idea to eat sour cream and onion Pringles. Uh, I don't know what it was called. My granddaughter, youngest one, she'll go grab... Sour cream and onion Pringles start eating them for breakfast. Or pepperonis. Like, what are you doing? I don't know. I'm not checking it. <sighs> Hold on, guys. Dang it. I had to look. Well, she would have called my cell phone. My wife left earlier, and her car had been giving her some crap. I was hoping it didn't just break down, but she would have called my cell phone. So anyway, yeah, um, Osvaldo freed his stuff out, sent me a picture. Pretty cool. And yeah, I try to remember you guys. I mean, like I said, I can't promise I'm always going to get through there. I let Osvaldo down a couple times. I couldn't get the car a couple times, and one time I thought he changed his mind on it, and I got it, but I gave it to somebody else. 
because I thought he changed his mind, but it was completely misunder miscommunication. Anyway, Gary Slintz, my neighbor's wife wasn't feeling well last Tuesday, went to the hospital, but died Thursday morning. Dang, she did have COVID, but I'm not sure that was the reason. Take care and get well, my brother. Yeah, that's how it happens, man. I mean, it happens just crazy like that. Dang, hate to hear that. Dane Self, congrats to the winners. Right on, brother. I think I sent yours out. Yeah, I sent yours out. Hopefully it... I don't know if it'll get there today or Monday. Cecil's Diecast, happy for the ones that won. I love to have one of them M2 truck in my collection. And NASCAR guy, no recent rants? I enjoy hearing what you think about things. <laughs> well, if you watch this video, maybe that'll please you. And you know what, NASCAR guy? Um, do you, what size shirt do you wear? Do you, if you happen to wear an extra large, I have one of my new ones over there. I thought about sending it to you because I haven't sent you a darn thing ever. Um, and I still haven't got your custom done. So if an extra large fits you, let me know and then email me your address because I don't have that either. And if I recall right, I think you know Osvaldo. Maybe even you hunt with him or something. I don't, I'm not sure. Anyway, yeah, I, was gonna, I meant to mention that last time I done a video and forgot. So let me know if you do wear an extra large, because I have one extra large over there. And Doug's Diecast, congrats to the winners. Right on, buddy. Brian Johnston, awesome drawing. Congrats to all the winners. Richard Harrison, let us know if you win, or if you win the lottery. Yeah, right on. Mr. Joe Luz, you're redeemable. Congratulations to the winner. See you next time, brother. Profile pic is a detail of one of my paintings. And I don't know why I think I've seen that somewhere before. Just looks familiar. But anyway, right on, buddy. Reese Long. Wow, Richard Harrison, you are one lucky young man. I agree with James. You better get a lottery ticket. Congrats to all the winners. Excellent video. Again, better than the Big Bang Theory. Well, I don't know about that, man. That money, that show is kind of funny. Many stings. Don't forget, buddy, let me know. I love that Moon Eyes truck you're talking about sending me. I, I'll send you one of these if you don't have it. If you want one, let me know before they're gone. I hope, hope I get some of Mr. Harrison's luck since I won the Guns N' Roses car. Thanks. Yeah, right on. Lance Graham, I watched the nostalgic YouTube channel. He found an A of 2024 Hot Wheels on a shelf is one of his videos. In one of his videos, only cars I have right now are some Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Senior Hot Wheel NASCAR cars, as well as a few other NASCAR Hot Wheels. Right on. <clears throat> right to black. Chevy Fleetline is the regular for case a cop car right on rat you know rat's gonna know yeah that's it that was a chevy fleet line i can see it now i can even picture it plus i've seen a couple more videos little shorts since then and uh yeah that's what it was i was wondering why i was thinking it was a chrysler so be careful over there you're gonna knock my stuff over what are you trying to do you're trying to vandalize my cars the yeah and you can't get through there well, you better not break my stuff because you're you're like a giant now. Okay. And uh, yeah, that's, that's the fleet line. And we got Rudy Moons. Thanks. All right, thank you, brother. Whoops. And we got Kenny Botches. Kenny Kenny Botches. I bet you guys can't guess what he said. Oh, well, it's an axle I lost a long time ago. I don't know what happened to it. Kenny Botches, Hot Wheels ROC Integra Drawing. Right on, buddy. We're almost to the end. Three more comments, guys. Sorry it took so long. Fern C, Boom, Dose. Not Uno. Old School Diecast says, I knew it. 
Burns says to Old School Diecast. Missed it by a bit today. Old School Diecast laughs. Next comment. Old School Diecast. Trash. Old School Diecast. First. Fern be second. I bet ya. Believe he was. Fern C responds. Laughs. Old School Diecast says, Was I right? Yes, you were right. Fern, Fern was second. Fern's usually first. Then we got Eddie. Simple Customs by Eddie Papandria. The Godfather. Eddie P. Congrats to all the winners. Thank you for the ride. Happy holidays, James. Hope you're feeling better. Right on, brother. Sure am. There's all of the comments read, guys. I know you probably didn't hang out for an hour and ten, but some of you did. So anyway, congratulations to the winners once again. And um, apologize to the guys who didn't win. Oh, my gosh. And uh, I would say sorry about the rant, but you know how I am. I'll just say it, call it like I see it. Just call it like I see it. And yeah, don't go chopping up on yourself because I said so. I'm just telling you what I do. I mean, well, that's another little, uh, it don't matter. Let's not get into it. Um, so anyway, y'all take it easy. I hope you guys have a great Christmas, great holiday. I don't know if I'll hear from you by then or talk to you by then or not, but y'all be cool. Steve, let me know about the truck. Um, if I don't hear from you, I may just send you one anyway. And, um, Mr. Proust, let me know which one, because the other one's going to Mr. Harrison. And the rest of y'all, take it easy. Hector, I'll do another video with your box. It's just got too much stuff in it, buddy. Look at that big old package. Mm -hmm. And it's heavy. I don't know what's in there. Anyway, maybe it's a box with 75 gassers in it. I don't know. Y'all take it easy. Peace. Outro.